I'm going to go through a quick uh, use of a pipette washer, which is the device you see in front here. Um, but before we actually put the uh, pipettes in there, I'm going to remind you that uh, they have to be washed first. Uh, so the washing actually involves uh, the removal. If you work with them sterilely in the hood, uh, sometimes they'll have cotton in them, and if they do, you have to take that out. Um, you can do that pretty easily with a paper clip normally unless somebody has actually stuffed one down in tight like this. In which case it may be necessary to uh, shoot that out of there. Easiest way I've found to do that, get a little bit of air going. And from that, you can point that at your least favorite lab mate and it'll just shoot that right out. Uh, so the process of uh, washing the pipettes then is that they need to be placed uh, inside the pipette washer uh, upside down. And so we just keep a solution here. Uh, that means that if you take a look in here, they should be going like that. And then you'd be looking down inside here. Uh, all you'll see, I'll rotate that a little bit typically. I go inside. Um, all the tips are up. That's because the tips are small and if they're upside down uh, they'll actually seal themselves and the water will not run up and down in uh, inside there. So uh, I've actually run this through a couple of times already and uh, to give it a thing and then run that out. I usually do that uh, as many as half a dozen times. Um, <coughs> the, this now goes inside the actual pipe out washer itself, which I'll show you. So what we have here then is the pipettes are up inside here. Uh, we'll place that up on top of a, uh, a sink area because the water is going to come out here. And so what we've got going here now is uh, simply attach the in this case hot water to this and you'll see is is that the water will start to run and that runs on up in top of this and what you see is it comes out the top and you want that to come out reasonably fast not too fast uh, because you can actually stop it from cycling uh, what we're doing here is you can see now the the water levels in raising up inside here and as that water raises up inside here, uh, it's going to eventually get to the top here where it will then rapidly cycle out into the sink uh, using a siphon. Now, because what's happening inside here is you're just simply rinsing the... Uh, I want to make sure this is seated inside here. But you're going to want... the. Um, it really is... really it's rinsing. Uh, if you have dirty pipettes, uh, that, or pipettes, for instance, that have bacteria or something in that, uh, and this is not going to clean that out there. You have to autoclave those and they have to be submerged. Um, if you were to dry autoclave them without that, the stuff will cook inside there and uh, it will not come out ever. Um, so you can see now that our, our, our water level has gotten up to here and it's coming up the, this side uh, tube. And once it gets up to here, it looks like it's going to come out the top, but instead it actually creates a siphon. And once that uh, siphon is created, uh, you'll see that it'll start to come out down here. Um, and it'll come out pretty, uh, pretty readily. Um, as you'll see in a minute here, once it, it'll come out. And it'll very, very rapidly uh, bring the water level down. You can see it actually now going down rapidly. And so what's happening here is is that it'll go very fast. So the siphon breaks. Uh, once the siphon breaks, you'll see in a second here, that siphon now will break over here and it'll start to refill the uh, bucket. Uh, now, this will happen as long as you leave the, uh, the water running. And so you have to keep in mind then that you know, with hot water, we'll run it through um, half a dozen times. Uh, once we have it good and rinsed all the soap out of there, 
uh, then what we'll do is we would actually then unattach that to here. I'm going to turn it off just a second. Um, it's going to water is going to shoot out because it's in the tube here. Um, but we would then run it uh, with distilled water. Now the configuration in this sink is these uh, actually uh, don't stay on. They're on a spring loaded. Um, so the only way to do that is we actually have it rigged here. So we can actually loop that on there. And in the process of doing that, the distilled water now will come out here. We only want to run that uh, three times, four times max uh, to rinse out uh, the uh, regular water uh, because we don't want to drain the uh, distilled water reserve. That's it.